welcome to Crankin's Kitchen or Cooking with Crankin, whichever you'd like. Um, uh, I'm in my mother's kitchen again and I just wanted to show you a quick uh, recipe that uh, is nice and fresh and uh, it, it's good with chips and um, uh, it's kind of like a salsa, but uh, it's taking fresh ingredients and it's using a lot of the Pampered Chef tools to create uh, what's called a pico de gallo. That recipe is on the Pampered Chef site. So if you were to search uh, for Pico, P-I-C-O, de Gallo, G-A-L-L-O, and look for the recipes, you will be able to see this recipe. It's very quick. And the ingredients are grape tomatoes, which um, I'm going to demonstrate the, um, um, the close and cut. Um, tool that is from Pramper Chef, jalapeno, garlic, red onion, some cilantro, and some lime juice and some pepper. And that's, that's all there is. And then we will be using the manual food processor to create this dish. So um, I have sliced some grape tomatoes here and put them in. The recipe calls for two cups uh, sliced and um, so there's one cup here and there's one cup here and it calls for them being um, divided. So we'll put in the tomatoes and the jalapenos, which have been, <clears throat> excuse me, stemmed but not seeded. We're gonna cut the onion into little smaller chunks on the uh, flexible cutting mat from Pampered Chef. And put that in here as well. We're going to put the garlic in, just as that, and the cilantro. And the juice of one lime. Some salt. to put some more tomatoes in it but uh, the 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 closing cut is great for grape tomatoes here or mushrooms or grapes or anything that's small or even a little bit large that there's a plate here that moves so you don't crush them and you just close that and insert the knife and you just cut And you see the tomatoes are now perfectly sliced. So we're gonna put those tomatoes in. can see, I'll get a spoon, the consistency is very chunky and you can see um, that that would go really well on fish, on chicken, on, um, on chips with your nachos, um, anything really that you need a fresh kick. 
So I'm just going to take the, uh, the blade out of the uh, manual food processor. And actually the, the manual food processor comes with a lid. So you can leave it in this container like this. And chill it in your refrigerator like that. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to spoon some of it into this uh, uh, silicone prep bowl from Pampered Chef. And I like them because they're flexible. You can see. Put that in the fridge to chill and uh, and serve that uh, with chips so thank you for watching be sure to like and subscribe uh, again i'm a pampered chef consultant and i would be happy to have you host a party or join me in the business and uh, you can find my information down below and uh, thank you for watching